So has anyone seen the latest technology demo from Google called Google Duplex? I only have one word. Run! <laughs> For those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, let me show you what Google recently showed at their developers conference. So what you're going to hear is the Google Assistant actually calling a real salon to schedule the appointment for you. Let's listen. What's happening out here? Hi, I'm calling to book a women's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Sure, give me one second. Mm-hmm. Sure, what time are you looking for around? At 12 p.m. We do not have a 12 p.m. available. The closest we have to that is a 1.15. Do you have anything between 10 a.m. and uh, 12 p.m.? Depending on what service she would like, what service is she looking for? Just a woman's haircut for now. Okay, we have a 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. is fine. Okay, what's her first name? The first name is Lisa. Okay, perfect. So I will see Lisa at 10 o'clock on May 3rd. Okay, great. Thanks. Great. Have a great day. Bye. So, what did you think? I thought it was inconceivable. But clearly, this is something that we can't stop. This is the future of uh, AI interactions with, with human beings. Uh, we can't stop this kind of uh, progress. But as each manufacturer of these kinds of systems start bringing in these kinds of services, uh, aren't we going to have to warn the, the people that these uh, bots are talking to that, uh, you know, for the next five minutes, you will be talking to a robot and then go into that wonderful conversation. I, actually, I think the conversation uh, is really cool. I would love to know ahead of time that I'm talking to a bot. Uh, I probably get lost uh, in the conversation. But you know, the fact is, if you don't tell people at the very beginning, like the demo that you just saw, uh, that you're speaking to a bot, I, I don't think that's ethical. There's just something wrong about it. But then there's the challenge that while maybe Google and Apple and other people who might be working on similar technologies, uh, you know, are, are ethical companies. <laughs> but what about people who choose not to be ethical at all? We, we know that they're out there. As this technology is, is democratized and more easily accessible, there are going to be bad players who are going to be using this. And, and to what end? It's really very, very scary. Don't forget that the name that Google uh, used for this is duplex. And the Latin root of that also applies to a word duplicity. Maybe Google should have called it duplicity. So what do you, what do you think about this? And then we're going to get to the point where, you know, we're going to have Bots talking to bots. Uh, we're going to send the bot asking for the hair appointment, end up talking to a bot that's accepting the hair appointment. And, and at some point, we're going to end up with a world that doesn't even require human beings at all, and it's going to be ruled by bots. Perhaps it could be used by another country to influence an election, you know, in, in another country. I mean, that would be awful. Uh, you know, it's, I'm so glad that that kind of stuff isn't happening right now. So, how do you know that I'm not an AI? I <laughs> can't.